Remember when watching TV, listening to music, and sending a note were all separate activities? Now you can do them all at the same time with your smartphone. When it comes to protecting the people that you love, do you have a smartphone or an old rotary dial? When you think about life insurance, are you thinking about old school or new school? If you have life insurance that's death benefit only, you're only seeing part of the story. Would you like to see more? Today, you can have life insurance that you don't have to die to use. The insurance companies of National Life Group offer life insurance with living benefits. Living benefits are provided by optional riders that can be added to your life insurance policy. Life insurance with living benefits can help to take care of you whether you become ill, live too long, or die too soon. No matter where life takes you, your life insurance policy with living benefits is there to help protect your future. So the only question is, what are you waiting for? The need to protect your loved ones won't go away. Have you protected those you love? If not, your greatest risk may be doing nothing. for taking the time uh, out of your busy schedule to watch this brief presentation on what we call peace of mind utilizing living benefits. What you'll see in here is a concept that impacts people that you can be passionate about. A smarter, more complete way to save money with higher income, more benefits, and tax-free. How you can protect you and your family from catastrophic events that could cripple you financially. See, today, here's one of the problems. 70% of the population will suffer a critical or chronic illness, such as a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, and live till age 65, but may be financially crippled in the process. See, every year, over 6 million Americans suffer a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. Over 1.2 million Americans suffer a heart attack each and every year. There are 17.6 million Americans alive today that have survived a heart attack. Stroke every year, almost 800,000 people suffer a stroke and many end up with permanent disabilities. And 3.5 million new cases a year of cancer uh, with an average cost of over $146,000 out of pocket expense. Over 65% of those expenses are direct and not covered by traditional insurance. Today, 11.7 million people are currently living with cancer. Did you know that 7 out of 10 people who will reach that age of 65 will suffer one of the big three? The good news is, however, the chance of survival is very high. As a matter of fact, 60% of heart attack victims actually survive 70% for stroke, 87% for breast cancer, 98% for prostate cancer. That's fantastic. The good news is through innovation and advancements and awareness, people are living and are being able to detect these issues earlier in their lifetime, thus saving their lives. However, are we saving their lives financially in the process? See, as a result, over half of all bankruptcies in this country are due to medical expenses, but 78% of them had health insurance. So what does that tell us? Who's paying the mortgage? Who's paying the car payment? Who's paying tuition for the kids? See, what if you got sick and could not work? Are you protected? It's a serious question, isn't it? Need serious answers. See, you could protect yourself many different ways by use, utilizing life insurance. You can buy disability insurance, which uh, if you've ever priced that, it's pretty expensive, but that certainly will cover the need if you are out of work for six months or a year due to an illness. You could also buy, with limitation, critical illness policies that actually cover you if you were to get that provided a small benefit just in case something happened. Of course, you can buy life insurance, and in the old days of life insurance or the old style life insurance, basically that's a program that you have to die to use, right? So it's, it's really should be called death insurance, but nevertheless, 
it has a vital part in the financial plan for our families. And of course, then this chronic illness. Well, which one do you buy? Well, the reality of it is we really need them all, don't we? But they come with a very expensive cost. So what's the solution? Folks, Freedom Equity Group is the solution. What we're doing is we're building financial freedom for every American family. Our mission is to show every American how to save, grow, and retire all tax-free with living benefits, the ultimate in financial freedom. Here's a question for you. What do you think of when I say life insurance? Well, the number one answer is protection for my family when I die. Meaning you're not included in that picture, you're no longer here, and your family gets a benefit. That's why I say it really should be called death insurance, shouldn't it? Well, what if there was a product that you don't have to die to use that protects you and your family from financial devastation, solves the issues of critical, chronic, and terminal illness, protects you and your family from market risk without losing the upside potential, provides liquidity without restrictions, all while providing for a tax-free income that you cannot outlive. See, there is, it's called living benefits, protection against critical illness, which is as many as 16 different things, heart attack, stroke, cancer, namely the big three, a chronic illness if you are unable to perform two of the six daily living activities or cognitive impaired, and last but not least, terminal illness upon terminal diagnosis, two years, up to $2 million. All this at no additional cost. See, here's how it works, folks. We call this the critical illness or accelerated living benefits, and there are essentially three different triggers that do this. The first one is, what type of illness do you have, okay? Is it a heart attack, stroke, cancer, renal failure, ALS, blindness, paralysis? There's a lot of different things. You know, for those that remember the uh, Boston Marathon bombing where three people were uh, were killed, unfortunately, and there were over 250 people that were maimed in some way. They lost legs, they lost eyesight, they lost hearing, uh, many different things, but they're still alive today, thankfully. However, how are they doing financially? See, the type of illness, all those illnesses would be covered under a critical illness type situation. Of course, now the second one is the severity of the illness. How severe is the illness that was diagnosed? Is it, uh, you know, is it, you know, a, a minor heart attack? Is it a severe heart attack? Is it stage one cancer, stage three cancer? It all depends on the severity of the, of the illness and the amount of the benefit, which can be up to two million dollars significant amount of protection for a family and what i'd like to share with you now is a story called jessica's story and this is a story of a, of a young woman but you really need to listen closely to this story because no one is exempt from a critical illness it strikes us at different times of our life so it's very crucial that we listen pregnant with Mason around April 2009. We had been trying for only a couple months and we finally got a positive pregnancy test. We were very excited. Well, the day we brought our baby Mason home, we had been in the hospital for three days and we packed him up in his teeny tiny little car seat in his little dinosaur hoodie with his matching beanie and we were just so excited to start this new adventure, being parents of two little boys. Well, it was a crazy day. It was September 26th of 2011, and Mason was nine months old, and I got a call from the doctor that had done all the tests, and they told me I had infiltrating ductal carcinoma, which to me was 
a different language. I had no idea what she meant. And so she had to break it down and say, well, Jessica, you have cancer. I was with her when she um, received the phone call from the doctor that gave her the results. You know, I knew the conversation wasn't positive. And when she hung up, she looked at me and as she broke down, she told me she had breast cancer. You know, I was 30 years old, I was healthy, I had a nine month old baby, I was breastfeeding, I had a two and a half year old. You know, you don't expect your child to tell you that they have cancer. You know, it's just not supposed to work that way. Treatment was the first thing I thought of, how to get rid of this cancer and get it out of my body. I did change my diet, I did do surgery and chemo and radiation, and thank God I did because I'm here today. Well, we first learned about life insurance through a really close family friend who is an agent. When I started going through treatments, through the chemo and the radiation, my agent came to me and said, look, we might be able to help you out here with your accelerated benefits and get you some money to help pay for medical bills. And he was definitely right. We helped with all of my medical bills and we really got to focus on me getting better instead of having the heavy burden of financial stress. Well, I just really never understood the power and flexibility of life insurance until the day that Jessica and Anthony received their living benefits check from National Life. And it just totally changed, you know, their financial outlook. My motto is live a life you love. So when I first got diagnosed with cancer, my husband Anthony bought a thousand pink bracelets that said my motto on it, live a life you love. So you still, still wear it today. The more you open your eyes to love and let it flow in your life, the, the better life is going to be. I'm, I'm just so grateful that Jessica was responsible and got life insurance, that the agent, you know, was generous and sold Jessica this, you know, abundant policy, that National Life had the integrity and came through on their end of the deal, and that God answered all of our prayers. Well, my advice to people who think they're too young for life insurance is that you're never too young for life insurance. It's not just in case you die, it's to live a life that you love. What an incredible story, and you can see by Jessica's story that once again, no one is exempt from a critical illness striking their family. What I want to share with you now is the opposite end of the spectrum, which is procrastination. You know, here's an example of a young family of five with a couple of businesses. Looked at our program, but weren't ready to make a decision at that time. Uh, not eight months later, the husband suffered a fatal accident while playing with his kids in the yard and is now presently paralyzed from the neck down and may not fully recover. His family's financial life would have been much different today had they purchased a plan for their family. A very painful lesson in life. So folks, here's a solution we have for you. The good news is there is an old life insurance and just like medicine, financial products have evolved too. The old life insurance basically did this. Had an income tax-free death benefit, you had to die to get the money. There were no living benefits. So once again, you needed to die to use it. So you may still have that old type of life insurance. What we teach people is how they can get the new life insurance. Of course, it pays a, de a tax-free death benefit when you die, but it also has, at no additional cost, a critical, chronic, and terminal illness component that can pay up to 90% to the family while you're still alive living benefits you don't have to die to use. Significant impact on the financial status of families. Folks, I appreciate you taking the time. I, again, I know how busy everyone's schedule is. What we're trying to bring to people is peace of mind. I'm asking you to act today. Get back with the person who shared this video with you and find out how you can upgrade to the new program with Living Benefits. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for joining me here. I wanted to give you a quick snapshot on what it is that we're doing. This is um, a snapshot of uh, our program, Red Line, Blue Line. Not knowing anything about anything, if you had to choose one of these two lines to put your money on, would you choose the red line or the blue line? The blue line, of course, right? Because it's more money. If you look closer, what you realize too is that it never goes down. It only goes up. Never go backwards. Gains are locked in. But you know, the story gets better than that. In addition, that $211,000 is income tax free. The red line is the Standard & Poor's 500 index. That's the stock market, 500 of the largest stocks in America. And if you look at this 165, about 95% of mutual funds do not outperform the Standard & Poor's 500 index, meaning that most people in mutual funds, 401ks, IRAs, so on, actually had less money than the 165. But we still have to deduct fees because fees didn't come out of this. The average fee is about 3%, can be anywhere between one and a half to as much as 5%. Many people aren't even aware that they're paying these fees because they're hidden in a, a, what looks like a phone book of, uh, written by a Philadelphia lawyer called a prospectus. But when they examine that, the Los Angeles Times said the average is about 3%. And in this case, on $100,000, that would be about $3,000 a year in expenses that you have to pay, by the way, whether you make money or lose money. And if we just roughed the numbers out and said $3,000 on 100000 over 15 years means you'd have to subtract $45,000 out of this number. But we still have to take taxes out. And if you even looked at a 10% or 15%, 20% tax bracket, you know, very conservatively, you're about where you started 15 years earlier. Now, you put up 100% of the money, took 100% of the risk, and ended up about where you started 15 years later. I want you to think about this. The mutual fund company put up zero money, took zero risk, and they made $45,000 in the process. But back to the blue line. That's what we do. $17 trillion today is on the red line in qualified plans. That's $17 trillion with a T. Without anyone spending one additional dollar, don't you think that most people would prefer to be on the blue line? In addition, this comes with all sorts of other benefits. This is net of fees, charges, expenses, and it's also income tax-free. So here we have a smarter more complete alternative to 403B, 401K, IRA, mutual funds, to the stock market, where you don't have the risk. By the way, that $211,000 is guaranteed never to be less than that. It can only go up, never go down. In addition, there's other benefits that come along with it. When you look at the whole package, it's, again, a, a no-brainer uh, to, to do that. So that's that is our, our product, our concept, our crusade, and it's, and it's also our opportunity as well. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on, on future videos. Hey, thanks for uh, stopping by and checking this out. Hey, I want to just illustrate a couple of really powerful concepts here when it comes to the IUL. First is the time value of money and allowing money to compound income tax-free for a number of years. And here's a great illustration uh, called Million Dollar Baby. This is an actual illustration, by the way. And uh, <clears throat> imagine setting up a child or a grandchild for life for the, cup, for the cost of a cup of coffee. Uh, and, and you'll see here from this presentation what a wonderful gift it could be for a parent or a grandparent to put away some money for a child and let it grow for a number of years. Uh, they could be set for the rest of their life. Uh, just by doing a little bit of pre-planning, right? And, and, and there's a lot of numbers here on this page, but let me go through them and give you an idea. Now, these, this is just an illustration. Your numbers could vary, ages, times, contributions, and so on. But just to get an idea that if someone were to start off with, say, $25 a week for five years, and then $35 a week, and they were increasing it a little bit from 25 to 35, and then the last eight years, $46 per week, for a total contribution of 28800 
and they did that until the child was 14. So if you added all this up, they put in a total of $28,800. Now, since it is in a life insurance contract, it also comes with living benefits as well, but it develops a cash value. And that cash value can be accessed at any time for any reason. So we use this illustration. We say, well, what if they decided that at age 18 to help pay for college, they pulled out $12,000 a year for four years. That's $48,000. They never contributed any more money after age 14. Total contribution, 28800 then at, uh, say, age 30, after getting out of college and so on, they buy a house. They, use, they take $25,000 out to, uh, to buy a home. And, of course, I'm just, we're just illustrating some of these numbers. This could vary, and the needs could be for whatever they wanted to. But these are pretty typical uh, needs that a person would have, right, paying for college, down payment for a house, and so on. And that's at age, uh, by age 39. And then at age 45, they decide that they want to take out of their, um, their cash value. They want to take another $100,000 out to use it to buy a uh, down payment for a vacation home, right? And, uh, and continue to let the money grow. Uh, still, they have not contributed anything since age 14. Um, Total contribution was 28800 for 14 years. So they used it for college. They used it for down payment on a house and a vacation home. Then at age 65, they decide to, uh, to retire the money that's in their account because of the, the magic of compound interest. We're illustrating this at 8%. And um, because it's uh, compounding and compound income tax-free, at age 65, they take out $142,000 a year, income tax-free. If they live to age 89, they have taken out $3,729,000 income tax-free. So just to recap this, they took out $48,000 to help pay for college, $25,000 for a mortgage down payment, $100,000 for a vacation condo, and then from age 65 to 89, so for 24 years, they took out $3.4 million income tax-free. Add that all up, that's $3.5 million. <clears throat> $3.5 million, carry that over. They also had a tax-free death benefit that went to their heirs at age 89 of $1.6 million. The total is $5.2 million. Um, that's the total benefit and they never paid more than 28800 Remember, they stopped at age 14 and then zero afterwards. <clears throat> you know, uh, just as a personal note, you know, uh, a few years ago my father-in-law passed away, and uh, we inherited uh, some, some money from him, and uh, it was in a qualified plan, an IRA, and each year we're required to take a required minimum distribution. We pay the taxes on it as well. And it's a, it's a modest inheritance, but it's a wonderful thing that my father-in-law did for us. And each year when we get the check, we, we go on a trip, we go on a cruise. And um, it, it actually chokes me up a little bit even to think about it because whenever we do, we, we, we just say, thank you, Daddy, we love you. And uh, we remember him fondly always, and especially uh, when we go and take our vacations because we we know that that would, that would make him happy. But just think of what a wonderful gift this could be for uh, a, a child or a grandchild. Uh, by the way, since it is in a um, life insurance contract, a child would never have to worry about being uninsurable for the rest of their life because of medical reasons, and also has the living benefits, uh, which allows uh, payments to be made in the event of cancer, heart attack, stroke, need long-term care, unable to perform two out of six activities of daily living. So for chronic or critical illness, also has protection. What a wonderful thing all the way around. They live long, prosper, and a gift that would give them dividends and, and, and payments uh, throughout the course of their life. In addition, because it is inside an insurance contract, it comes out income tax-free, and for a college program, it's a wonderful college program because life insurance cash value does not count against 
any grants, aids, doesn't show up anywhere on any of the financial aid forms. So thanks for tuning in and checking this out. Again, wonderful program illustrating the tremendous power of time value of money and compound interest, and especially income tax free. Um, you, you know, if you were to take one dollar and double it 20 times, try that on your calculator. One becomes two, becomes four, becomes eight, becomes 16, etc. If you did that 20 times, it's over a million dollars. It's a million forty-six, forty-eight thousand uh, dollars. But you know, if you stopped in between each one of those doubles and paid taxes at the rate of 28%, it only grows to about $48,000. A million dollars was lost in taxes. That's another great quick illustration of either the, the tremendous power of compound interest and the tremendously destructive power, if you will, of taxes and how great and wonderful a tax-free program is. So thanks for checking this out. Appreciate you stopping by, and we'll catch you later.